Sam here. Um, thanks for uh, watching along. I've got another video today. This time I'm um, stepping into some uh, reviews. Um, it's pretty late here at night, hence why there's um, no four-year-old running around crazy behind me. I've got a cat down here scratching a guy outside, but uh, it's well past his curfew. But um, I wanted to record this video because I want to do this over the next few weeks and make sure um, I get a good quali quality time frame to give this a good review. I've just come back from uh, my local fish store and picked up this uh, eShop's S200 uh, fourth generation skimmer. Um, basically, I picked this skimmer up because uh, I've got an RLSS waveline. Um, it's been a, a quality unit. It's still pumping out heaps of um, skimmate. It's coming up to five years old now. I've ran ozone on it most of that time. Um, the skimmer works super hard and I'm basically waiting for any day that it gives up. Um, whilst I'd love to go out and spend lavish amounts of money on some crazy German quality skimmer, I just don't have the budget right now and um, I've heard some good things about these eShops units and um, for the moment it is a backup skimmer. Um, it gives me a bit of time so when I take my wave line off I can uh, give it a proper good clean, deep clean, go over everything. I can spend a weekend on it and basically leave the eShops in place to do the job. Um, and who knows, maybe we'll get to the point where the eShops doing a better job and I just leave it on and the RLSS becomes a, um, a backup unit. Either way, um, this S200 unit should be a quality bit of gear. Um, it was just too good a price to turn down. So um, I figured, while I'm still excited about it, enthusiastic, even though it's super late here at night, I'd um, do a quick unboxing tonight and then um, I can add on to the video as we go. I'll give a, a, a one day, two day, uh, maybe then spread it out a week or two and then hopefully give a couple of month review of just uh, how it's performing, what the pros are, what the cons are and um, who I think the skimmer would be good for. But uh, anyway, time to break out the old knife and um, see what's inside the box. One thing I'm super excited about with these um, uh, eShops units is this clear blue, so you can actually see when it needs to be cleaned and if there's a snail or something in there clogging it. Okay, yeah, let's see what we got. All right, we've got a uh, quick start guide. Yeah, that's pretty modern. I think uh, most people know you put it in the water and you sump and um, crank her up. And this is heavy books. All yeah, right, all right, cool, we got pump for the unit, which is actually a Siche pump, or oh, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it properly, Siche, Siche, whatever it is, it's called the Italian brand pump, um, which being the heart of the skimmer is a, is a good sign. It's also these nice, uh, they look like genuine silicon um, hosing. Uh, what do we got in here? This looks like that'll be the clear volute itself. Very handy to see whether there's anything in there. Uh, every time I've had problems with my skimmer, it's been because the volute's clogged up. This is a crazy looking device. I'm assuming, yeah, this is the bubble diffuser. It's, um, I've got a chance to clue, get a close up of that uh, down the track, but uh, there's your eShop's logo. But uh, check out the uh, little veins in there, then uh, the bubble plate itself. It's an intricate piece of work, so I'm curious to see how that goes. That's that box done and dusted. Let's pull out the uh, main event. Actually, no, before the main event, we've got the, uh, well, depends on what you like, I guess. We've got the skimmer cup itself, individually wrapped, and uh, it's pretty. It's clear blue with the white logo on top. Um, it's also got a nice little feature here. It's got an um, O-ring around the outside of the neck rather than usually they put them on, on this surface here. So I'm guessing that's gonna give us a nice push fit, um, which should make it easier than the sort of quarter turn locking screws or, or thumb screws. All right. The uh, final piece of the puzzle is the body itself. It's a um, clean looking piece. Looks like it's got some um, Titanium, I'm not sure we can get them on camera. There's some titanium screws in the base down there. Another one up here. A nice adjustment. Cool looking unit. Nice. All right, I'll get this boxing out of the way and we can have a quick dive into the quick start guide, which, well, 
Let's see what else is in this uh, instruction booklet piece. My cat's looking pretty excited by the box down there. I think he's gonna chomp in it for it, eh? All right, so we got a quick start guide. We got a uh, warranty registration card, always a good idea. All right, uh, sitting room. Wow, first thing I'll say, um, whilst this is called a quick start guide, and I, I work in the IT industry, and typically when you open up uh, uh, things that say quick start, it's normally like a plug in, turn on, enjoy. Uh, this quick start guide has got setting up. Uh, okay, so it's got A through to M of setting up. And then we've got frequently asked questions A through to F. Maintenance is A with three dot points and then safety. That's fine. Uh, okay, so setting up, take all contents out of the box here. Yeah, okay, sure. Remove the skimmer base. <laughs> My cat literally is jumping in the box now. Uh, takes, take a Phillips screwdriver to loosen the th three, oh, the two screws, sorry. Yeah, okay, so it's just explaining how we assemble it because, yeah, that's what we want it to look like. And, uh, that's how it currently looks now, so, um... Let's just say, multidimensional and multi-temporal. Looks like Siri wants to join in on the action. <laughs> um, this is not your YouTube channel, Siri, so leave us alone. Um, alright, uh, I'll play some, uh, Benny Hill music or something now and, um, switch the time-lapse while I assemble this unit together and, um, hey, we can go from there. Uh, as you were seen in uh, time lapse mode, there, this uh, unit came together pretty quickly. I've still got a couple of bits of uh, tape that was just part of the packaging to remove from it. Um, yeah, the unit goes together really quickly. There's not a lot more to it, to be honest with you. It um, feels to be of decent quality, um, particularly for the price. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting this in the in the water and uh, just seeing what it pulls out. I think um, just so I can keep an eye on it um, and watch it really closely for the first couple of days, I might actually pop it into my um, into my second frag tank, which is actually a sumpless system, but I'm going to put this straight into the display and um, that way I'll be able to keep a really close eye on it while it runs for the first couple of days. That tank's currently cycling, um, so it should be a few uh, few good things for the skimmer to pull out. So um, yeah, it'll be a good opportunity for the skimmer to break in there and we can see where it goes from there. Yeah, so um, I worked this skimmer here in uh, my new frag tank, which is uh, basically still cycling away. It, um, uh, it looks pretty messy at the moment. It's got nothing, um, no great corals or anything in there. It's got a couple of Dallas frags and a few Monty frags, but um, basically the tank's been cycling for a fair while, and by cycling it, I haven't actually put any live rock or anything in it. It just gets water out of, uh, you can just see on camera there, my um, clown tank next to it and my um, automatic water change, sort of daisy chain setup. So it gets a lot of bacteria and um, goodness I guess in the water from all the other tanks and uh, it's been cycling um, I, I say cycling with inverted commas because it's basically been ugly for about two months now um, since I put water in it it just uh, grew algae about you know, two inches thick and um, I guess because uh, this tank runs no sump you can't really see there that's all right but you can see it on one of my other videos where I do an overview uh, it has no sump it's a closed loop setup and um, yeah, it, it just looked like it wasn't getting anywhere. So um, I set the skimmer up, uh, I moved some frag tiles across, sat it in there, um, turned her on, looked like it created a nice foamy head. I went off and had a shower and um, sat down and uh, watched the, I think, 
Dora the Explorer or something with my daughter, and um, I thought I'd pop in and just check the um, skimmer. It's been about, what is it now? It's quarter past. Put it on about 4.30, so it's, it's been gone for about 45 minutes. <laughs> Have a look at the skimmate it's pulled out. It's just ridiculous. I'll get you a close-up of it. Uh, I'm in shock. Um, it, yeah, it's... I'm in shock for two reasons. One, um, the skimmer's obviously doing a great job, and two, there's obviously a lot of crap in this tank that needed to be pulled out. A lot of proteins. Um, I thought just algae. I didn't think I'd really pull much of that out. But, um, but whoa, um, that's a. Uh, I'd have to measure it out. But in 45 minutes, it's like a probably a solid half liter of dark, dark skimmate. Um, early signs would suggest this skimmer is working a treat. Um, yeah, I'll give you a few close-ups of an operation, and um, yeah, make up your own mind. Cheers. Ten weeks. Um, I haven't cleaned it. Haven't touched it. All I've done is drain the cup every maybe three, four days. It's been pulling out ridiculous amounts of gunk. You can see how much has been in there since yesterday when I emptied it. Um, I thought uh, seeing that it's been two months would be a good opportunity to give you a bit more uh, feedback on how it's going, and uh, maybe we do something that I almost never do, and that's uh, give this skimmer a clean and put it back in action and see if it goes just as well as it has out of the box um, as it does after I give it a clean. So. Um, I'll give you some close-ups of just how much gunk's been uh, building up inside this skin where it looks pretty nasty, but the poor thing, I must admit, it doesn't have the easiest of life. It lives right under the light fitting here, so all this stuff here in the body um, just cakes onto the acrylic, so um, giving it a clean should be fun, but uh, I'll share a couple of tips with you on what I use to clean uh, acrylic and plastic um, reef keeping stuff to make it a breeze, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. to clean this skimmer, um, got everything I need. I've got uh, my trusty uh, Tunzi skimmer brush, which um, is from one of the skimmers on my other tanks. I've got uh, a towel, an old towel. My wife's not gonna kill me if it gets um, skimmed on it. And finally, the secret uh, weapon uh, is these uh, Melamine foam pads, um, otherwise known as uh, 3M Magic Erasers. Um, it kind of goes against my moral bones, but you can buy a pack of like a hundred of these for about three dollars on eBay. Um, to be honest, the end work is probably getting the same amount of money as the ones from 3M that cost 20 bucks for a three pack. So um, yeah, let you make that decision yourself. But uh, you may have noticed I'm not in the fish room anymore. I'm in the laundry. Um, my wife's out, uh, got the dog off and the things, so uh, she won't be able to smell this or um, see it. Uh, so we can uh, finally get going on cleaning this stuff. So. 
see the skimmer cut there, it's uh, got a fair old rice bowl going on. You may also have noticed I don't have um, my good reefing shirts on because it wouldn't be the first time that I've uh, come in just to do something a quick clean and it ends up being um, splashed with skim out everywhere. So, so far this, um, I'm not sure how well you can see there, I can probably adjust the camera down a bit. Wee! <laughs> yeah, you might be able to see a little bit better now if I get that out of the way. Uh, this has been super easy so far, it's um, pretty much just rinsed off. Uh, yeah. If I was left handed, this would probably show up on the camera a little bit better, but uh, rinse of the cap and uh, it's clean, it's now that beautiful clear blue. Uh, give this uh, drain hose a quick rinse too, because they can have a tendency to clog up when you've got skim out that thick in there, like I managed to get. And uh, last but not least, uh, one filthy skimmer cup. Um, ironically, it's actually not too bad in the cup. The neck is just, <laughs> the neck's probably an inch thinner than it should be because it's got that much crap built up on it. Yeah, that's what a skimmer does. <gasps> okay, that's the review of the eShops S200 skimmer complete. Um, it's been running for 10 weeks now, hasn't skipped a beat. Um, obviously, it'd be good to review it for 10, 12 months, but uh, it'll be old news by then and everyone will already know how good a units they are. So, um, got this balancing act of uh, not giving it a one day review and Everyone goes, oh, it's all amazing. When it's one day old, it should be amazing. Um, but on the same hand, giving it a thorough enough test. So if there were going to be any problems, they would raise their head. Um, so I guess uh, if I break it down into a few categories, we look at price. Um, I won't label the price that I got it for because um, obviously your local retailer will vary. But uh, if you ever look online and have a look at what the recommended retail is, these things are pretty good value. Um, as far as shop, uh, shop bought skimmers, as in not something you order from um, Thailand on the internet, but uh, something you buy from a bricks and mortar store, you're not going to find much cheaper that's got any sort of resemblance of quality. So uh, you would have to give the price a, a solid nine, maybe more out of ten. Quality, uh, it's it's a quality unit. I'm not going to say it's the best built thing under the sun because one, it's not. But two, you can't compare a um, few hundred dollar skimmer to a few thousand dollar skimmer. It's not really fair. Uh, with the price point in mind, I'd probably give it somewhere around a, um, probably a build quality of seven, seven and a half out of 10, um, which sounds like I may be being a bit critical, but again, for the price point, I think that's really, really good. Um, thirdly, tunability. Um, I really like the tunability of this, despite being an AC motor, so it's not a control pump. Um, it's got enough variance. The uh, air silencer with the adjustable plate where you can control the airflow, it's really nice, it's really neat. Um, works really well, it's set and forget even after cleaning it because it's secured by the screw. Um, I didn't lose my setting there, it's all, all built in. Um, here's my daughter, she's gonna help with the review. Thank you. 
All right, Ruby's gonna help me with the last part of this um, review. So I guess we're up to uh, tunability of the skimmer, and I was talking about the uh, the air intake adjustment um, and how, uh, how good that is, it's, it's fairly unique. I haven't seen it in other skimmers. I've just seen um, like normally taps in line to the um, air intake hose. This is um, a bit more visual and uh, a bit more tunable and harder to adjust once you've got it where you want. So I really like that. The little lines on the um, water height adjustment were quite nice too. Um, I, when I cleaned the skimmer, I took it out and uh, took it into the laundry, pulled it all apart, cleaned it. And when I took it back into the uh, into the fish room and put it back in the tank, I went, oh, I can't remember where I had that set. But then I did vaguely remember that I had it set at about three and a half lines um, on the uh, adjustment gate, which is a simple but neat and effective um, way of measuring what sort of setting you have it on. So um, it responds to the tuning really well. It's got a nice little knob to adjust it with. And um, short of having a controllable pump, I don't think you could really rate the tuning much higher. So, oh considering God. it's an, your bow's there, mate. Considering it's an AC pump, um, I'll give that an eight out of ten, which I think for an AC pump is probably about as high as your tunability is going to get. Uh, finally, um, one that I rarely do—I barely ever clean my gear, which is poor. I should do that more, but I guess because I've got so many tanks, um, I'd be cleaning stuff every weekend. So, um, the final score on, on cleaning. The unit was really easy to clean, the way the whole cone comes off the body um, made it really easy to get to because I've been running that skimmer directly under the light. Ruby, just quiet, buddy, what daddy's doing this video. Um, the algae had a chance to really cake itself onto that plastic, but um, it, it, because it was able to come right apart, it's quite easy to um, clean off. The only part that was a little bit tricky was the uh, diffuser plate, which is sort of a fairly intricate piece of kit and it's all built and assembled together so it did really take uh, my uh, skimmer brush and you know, a little bit of effort to get in there and poke around and uh, get that get that as clean as could be um, that being said I don't foresee that being an issue you, you blast it with a bit more water pressure will clean it out I just like to be a little bit gentle with the water pressure I don't want to break um, plastic or glue parts or anything like that so um, yeah, that being said, the fact that the whole cone came off the body, the skimmer cup has just got the o-ring fit on it, um, that made it really easy to pull apart and the plastic was really very resistant to the algae, even though I agree it's only 10 weeks old, um, I could wipe it off um, quite easy. So I guess apart from the diffuser plate, it's near perfect, so I'm going to give that an 8 to 8.5 out of 10. Um, overall, I guess I haven't wrote down what numbers I gave for everything, uh, maybe I'll put something up on screen, but uh, I would probably give this skimmer uh, probably an eight out of 10 overall, uh, which I think is a really good score, um, particularly for something at that price point. It um, pulled out an amazing amount of gunk in my frag tank, which um, the system has no fish in it. It does have water from other tanks that do have fish in it, um, but it um, performed flawlessly. It, it never, never flooded, um, never had a problem with the pump. It's a quality Siche pump. Um, it was easy to empty, easy to clean easy to tune um, at a good price point. Maybe eight out of 10 has been a bit harsh, maybe it should be higher, but um, we'll, we'll go with eight because I, I don't want to give too high a score early on in my reviews, but um, by all means, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot them through to me and um, I'll answer what I can. And, um, I was sort of expecting to run this skimmer as a um, backup, as a spare, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'll find a permanent home for it now because it's, um, it's going to become an essential part of my gear. So uh, yeah, thanks again eShops. Um, making a quality skimmer and um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.